at this point, let's move on to some client submissions. The first client submission asks, I prepare consolidated financial statements for a group with Canadian parent, U.S. sub, and peso subsidiary. Is there a way to convert the currencies of the subs to Canadian on consolidation? Well, you can convert it to whatever local currency is necessary. And so what I'm going to do is open up a subsidiary file that's called Australia Investments Limited. In the subfiles Working Trial Balance, there's a foreign exchange tab. And in the foreign exchange tab, we would enter the rate type, either current or historical, and the rates associated with each account to convert the foreign subs to local currency. Now, the rate type provides, as I mentioned, both current and historical rates. Once the subfiles are properly set up, you can then proceed with the consolidation. So let me get out of this file. Notice I didn't save it compressed and open up the International Investments Limited file. Now, International Investments Limited is a consolidated file and it's got Canada, Australia, and USA entities set up in it. If we go into the consolidation dialog and choose the Australia Investments Limited entity and look at its properties, what we can do is apply for an exchange so that on consolidation, the converted dollar values show up in the consolidated file rather than the foreign currency values. Clicking OK to close the entity properties and clicking OK will reapply the consolidation and reprocess it based on the converted balances. Now I didn't make any changes there, but at that point we would have the foreign exchange values of the subsidiary in local currency dollars.